I bought this generic bilge pump on Timu for $7.76. At Marine Parts Source, we sell the official rule bilge pump for $30. We're gonna see how they compare. Let's get started. Rule bilge pumps are like the OG of bilge pumps in the marine industry. Really popular, they've been around for decades. They're their most well-known brand of bilge pumps that there are, and they're really recognizable by their red, white, and blue color. Well, this bilge pump from Timu is clearly trying to knock it off. I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes. And so we're gonna see how these two compare to one another. All right, so what are we talking about here? What are we dealing with today? Both of these pumps are rated at 1,100 gallons per hour. Uh, so we were just comparing like to like here. You can see it right on the top of both pumps. They're both saying 1,100 gallons per hour. That's what they're supposed to be able to pump. They're both 12 volt. And so we'll hook them up to a 12 volt battery today to operate them. And they're both non-automatic. So, um, you know, we're not gonna have a switch involved we're, and there's no internal switch. We're just gonna run them. Now, you'll notice that there are some differences on the shapes of both of these pumps. Uh, this generic one is more round in its shape. The barrel is round, whereas this one is more oval shaped, especially at the bottom. It kind of starts more round up at the top and then kind of spreads out at the bottom. That's because the old rule bilge pumps actually had this exact shape. They were a completely round body. They had this round basket, this round foot on it. And um, they updated that design in 2017 to look like this. And they made some massive improvements to these pumps at that time. And my bet is, is that this pump, it's trying to knock off the old style. It probably doesn't feature any of those new features that and benefits that make this a much better pump. So what are we talking about here? So obviously the shape is different. You know, one of the benefits with these snap-in baskets is supposed to be that, you know, you have this pump screwed into the base of your bilge somewhere, preferably the lowest part of the boat. If it goes bad, you can easily replace it by just pinching these two sides and pulling the pump out, all right? And then you can get a new pump and it'll snap right in, okay? And you can do the same with this one over here, all right? And the way that Rule made these pumps for forever was that you could buy you know, a new pump and snap it into your old basket. Obviously, when they change the size of these, these new ones won't fit into these old ones anymore. This only works if you're gonna, if you're keeping the basket, this only works if you're uh, putting this into an old Rule pump's uh, original basket. But I'll tell you, I've bought cheap knockoff of rule pumps before that look exactly like this, that are red, white, and blue, that are generic branded. And it never fails that these baskets don't fit the actual rule pumps at all. I mean, you can maybe force it in and sometimes you'll break these tabs trying to do it. And my experience buying these old generic ones, they never are a clean fit like a real rule pump would be. There's a bunch of other differences. One thing that's really obvious is you see that this comes with multiple fittings. Uh, so you have, can fit for different size of hoses. There's a larger one here. And then this one, this just has the one size that fits that smaller uh, fitting there. In addition, you'll see that these fittings have a, several more ribs and for which the hose to grip onto when you, when you connect it to a hose. Whereas this one just has a couple of ribs right there and they're really slight. I mean, I can rub my finger over that and it almost feels smooth. Whereas these are pronounced, like there's gonna be grip that hose is gonna be able to slide on here and it's not gonna come off easily, whereas it feels like it could just slip right off of this one. And then another big benefit of these newer pumps is they come with these check valves that fit right inside of these fittings. And what these are gonna do is prevent backflow. So, you know, you're pumping the water out of the boat. That's what this part of the pump is. And if water comes back in, it can't get back into the pump. So this is gonna prevent backflow here by having these 
uh, tri duct bill valves basically prevent, it can go out, but they can't come back in. And one of the reasons why they have this wider body is there's additional thermal protection inside of this pump that there weren't in the old ones, just a safety precaution for the pump, for the boat in general. And uh, so if it gets too hot, it's gonna shut off. It's also got an improved impeller inside. This, uh, the impeller, what's actually pumping the water here uh, is an improved design and it's supposed to have a better flow, more output than the old designs did. We can look at this one and see that what that impeller looks like. You can see it just doesn't look nearly as beefy compared to the Rule brand. Finally, you can't see it on the new Rule pumps, but there are tiny pinhole air vents built into the body of this pump that are gonna prevent air locking. It's a big problem with bilge pumps. And, um, you know, often when you get it airlocked, a lot of people just have to take the old pump out and throw it away and replace it. Um, but with this venting, that's less of a problem on these newer models. And again, I don't know about this particular pump, but the old rule ones didn't have that and they were susceptible to that problem all the time. So let's hook these up to a battery now and see just how well they operate. For that, I'm gonna ask for some assistance from our friend Jordan from the Inverter Service Center. Hey, Jordan! I'm right here. It's Jordan from the ISC. He's manly man, he knows about electricity. This young man here, here is Jordan. He's with our Inverter Service Center. And for those of you who have watched our channel before, you know that the Inverter Service Center are incredible electrical experts. If you've got a boat, an RV, a van, a bus, anything that you wanna take out on the road or on the water and you wanna be able to go anywhere and have all the electrical uh, devices and electronics working just like you do at home, these guys can hook you up with a system that does just that, whether it's solar panels, inverters, battery chargers, the whole works. So, Check out Inverter Service Center. If you want to see some of their great work that they do, just head on over to their YouTube channel after this video is done and you can see more of their work right there. All right, back to work now. We've got a Battleborn lithium 12 volt battery here that we're going to hook these pumps up to yep. and see just how well they perform, right? So anything you want to tell us about this setup? No, I mean, we tried to make it as fair as possible. So I just have, you know, equal leads coming off each battery. We'll set each pump in this these tanks. We'll do some races. We'll do some, you know, agility tests, some endurance tests, sure. all that stuff. Sure. Okay. We may even pour some chemicals in there that shouldn't be poured in there. I don't know. Things you'll find in the bilge, maybe. Yeah. And just pump them through there. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So let's get it started. We're gonna hook up. Uh, they they each come with these uh, wire harnesses that are, you know, um, they're built in. So we'll just connect both of these to the battery and uh, get them turned on. Yep. Okay. All right, Jordan's got us hooked up here with connected to the battery with heat shrink, so it's very secure, watertight. We're ready to go, yep. and uh, now we're just going to connect this and listen to how each pump sounds when they run. All right, you can work at the ISC. Feel the air coming out All of right. this one. Tell me which one. I don't know. It, I mean, that thing feels stronger for sure. Is it still running? Yeah, you just can't. I, I can't, can't hear it over hear this damn it. thing. <laughs> that thing is drowning it out. Yeah. Okay, so that one's definitely louder. Does it feel like about the same? I mean, it's, I mean this is feels a very a scientific test. Yeah. Of, you know how much air is it pumping? Um, the other thing I wanted to do is just kind of hold both of them. Oh, okay, you run. can hold mine. And uh, I just wanted to see where you. Oh, you want to hold it like this? I want to feel how each one of them feels when they're running. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. There's feels like a lot more vibration. In this one versus this one. Which means it probably won't last, I would think. We'll think see. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. The one doesn't even move. That's a great example right there. Look how much vibration, how much this one's moving around. This one is not moving a smidge, not one bit. So, again, vibration is the enemy of longevity. The more that the pieces in there are vibrating over time. This is gonna run out a lot faster than this one is. I mean, this one hasn't even moved. It hasn't no. one, not one bit. So, all right, great. Thank you, Jordan. No problem. All right, let's dip these in the water and see how well they pump. Another thing when we were connecting these, really important and interesting, again, just pointing out the, the tightness of and security of this hose connection over here. I mean, this thing 
will not twist and move. The only thing that twists is the fitting itself here. And again, that's another great benefit on this one is, is I can just unscrew this fitting if I need to change the pump out. I don't have to unclamp it and all that mess. Yeah, that's This one, we've got to pull the clamp off, pull the hose off, and show them how that hose just twists off. Yeah, I mean, we were trying to clamp it down. I couldn't get it tight enough without freeing we're going to break it, but yeah, I still can't get it tight enough where it doesn't swivel like this. Just a matter of that that hose size being so, ever so slightly smaller. It, I mean, even though it's just like hundreds of an inch, it makes a difference. Well, and especially if this hose blows off, then you defeated the purpose of even having the pump. Exactly. You're just going to keep exactly. blowing the water down the bilge. Yeah, exactly, which is not where you want it. Okay. All right, let's do this in three, two, one, go. Okay, mine's killing you. I know. I don't know. Mine's keeping up pretty hard. My hose doesn't come off. Look, look how fast. Shoot. This one had more water in it, too. Yeah. Oh, oh no, oh, there oh. you go, there you go. I'm running dry. You got there faster, didn't you? Yeah. As far as I'm going to get it. All right, first test, I'm going to have to get the slide edge to generic uh, bilge pump over here. Yep. You know, we, again, this one, I think, got ahead at first, and that one caught up, ended up pumping more water out of the bottom. But I took the check valve out of this one. We're going to see how they stand up now. Okay, yeah, ready? Fair is fair here. All right, let me put this down in the water. Hold mine. It's very difficult to get it to be flush against the bottom there. All right, holler right. when you're ready. Yeah, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Oh, man. <laughs> Big difference. Didn't it? I think so. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this one really did it this time. Oh, that's a good sound. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Clearly, this one uh, was faster than that one when the check valve was out. Again, that check valve is an important safety precaution. You don't have that. I mean, backflow, come back in, rush water, but rush back into this bilge pump and basically it's going to have to continue pumping or it's going to wear out um, and the pump, pump could fail so uh, it's an important safety feature but um, when you take it out man that clearly smoked that one in terms mm -hmm. of speed all right let's do one more test let's fill these tanks up one more time uh, but not necessarily with water let's fill it up with this trash water trash water let's put some oil in it yeah let's, let's put some of these uh these little Strippings, I got all these wires. Yeah, all wire strippings. That's that really simulate a real bilge. A real bilge with a bunch of garbage in it, and let's see how well these pumps do then. Okay, right, let's do it. All right, so we're moving the trash cans up here on top because in a real world simulation, a bilge pump has to not only pump out. It's got to pump the water up as well. I mean, it's going to be pumping up above the water line. So we decided that we would put these trash cans up here for the real ultimate test. Can these pumps actually force the water upwards as well? Now, we've got a whole bunch of gunk in here. We poured the water that was in the trash can back into the bin, and there's tons of debris and funky. dirt and funky. And then we splashed a little bit of motor oil in there for good measure. I didn't think this through. Now I've got to stick my hand in this to hold yep. the pump down. And you do too, Jordan. Yep, yep. Three, two, These hoses pop out. One, go. I'm gonna hold my hose. Yeah, I don't want it to fly out on me. Who's winning? <laughs> I'm trying to scoop up all I can. Yeah, look, it's it's my pump is actually spraying water back into the tank because his hose isn't fitting right. Oh, yeah. Mine is not doing that at least. Yeah, I'm like spraying water back at myself. Let's get this all cleaned up, and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right. Okay. All right, Jordan, I've got the grease and funk cleaned off of me. How are you doing? I feel rejuvenated. My okay. hands are real soft. And... Okay. 
Well, uh, what did we learn? The, the pump from Timu absolutely held up and, um, and was pretty consistent. I mean, it, it held up way better than I expected it yeah. to. Um, it was pumping fast. It was doing what it was supposed to do. Um, but with those things uh, considered, there's still real issues I have. It's louder. Mm. Um, it doesn't come with the additional fittings. The check valve, I think that's really important. The wires on it are suspect. Yeah. They're not tinned copper. Um, and, you know, just the biggest thing of all, the thing that we can't test is longevity. How long are these pumps going to last? You know, how quickly is it going to fail on you? And though we can't say for sure, uh, we certainly saw signs that would indicate that it, that generic pump is not going to last anywhere near as long as the rule pump. The vibration, you know, remember, it's going to be uh, bolted onto the hull of a boat. It's going to be shaking around a lot, and it was already shaking on its own. Uh, the vibration of the parts inside, the new rule bilge pump, heavier duty impeller. Um, it, it was pretty stable when we ran it on the table. I just think, uh, and the wiring, all these things combined, that it's going to last. Yeah. And there's one thing that you really don't want to scrimp on. It's a bilge pump. If a bilge pump fails and you're not able to replace it quickly, I mean, it could sink your boat. Quick. And so um, it's something that I think is worth spending the extra money on. Of course, at Marine Parts Source, we're selling the more expensive pumps, so I'm going to say that. But, you know, in terms of safety, in terms of, you know, just all of the things that we've laid out, while it may perform better out of the box, I just don't think that that team of pumps going to hold up over the lifetime no. of the pump. And and you want peace of mind, use the rule pump. They are tried, tested for years and years and years, and um, it's reliable. So if you've got questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'd really love it if you'd like and subscribe our channel. And of course, uh, tune in next time. We'll be doing something crazy once again, I'm sure. And of course, any boat parts, uh, equipment that you might need, questions you might have, you can always reach out to Marine Parts Source online or call us at 866-388-0390. Thanks for watching.